afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. This is your hippie, hippie painter man, coming at you from beautiful Key Largo, Florida, on this wonderful Sunday afternoon. Thank you so much for riding on the express thus far today. I hope you checked out the wonderful and talented Andrea Caron, hey, our special guest today, and everyone that was before me or after me as the cards may fall. Uh, the link for the uh, Express Training Day will be in my description. Alright, we're going to do us a couple of blooms today. I have not had a wonderful week, so there won't be any singing involved in today. Uh, sorry, but it's just been one of those one of those weeks for me. We're just going to have a little bit of you know, royalty-free music for you to jam along with instead of my singing today. Sorry about that. Uh, we will get back caught up with you next week, hopefully. Now, we're going to be using some Shura and Williams white uh, for our base coat. Colors to go, Sherman Williams. Sir Wynn Williams. And we'll go ahead and pour that on there. Never works like I want it to. Gonna be working on a six and a half inch ceramic hexagonal tile today. I just kind of dig these things. actually had the first good results that I have had thus far, the first really good results I've had so far, uh, last week. So we're going to cross our little fingers and toes that that wasn't a fluke and try again. How you like that? All right, we're going to go ahead and spread this out. I'm not going to go crazy spreading it out. I'm just going to bring it off the edge here from the center. mixed all of my paints. All of my paints are mixed with uh, Bear 8300 house paint uh, and Josanya or Joa if we have to go there which we don't think we did on any of these in order to thin it up or thicken it as it goes. So how's everybody doing out there today? I hope you're all doing well. I would like to say congratulations to my dear friend Andrea in doing her breakthrough first video today and doing that as a collaboration with us, her good friends, being a special guest on the Express today. Um, Another congratulations goes out to Tess Lima because it's her 50th video. That is right. And another congratulations goes out to our sweet Tess Lima because this is her 50th video that she is posting today, which is just awesome. I'm not incredibly far off that 50 count myself. We will see when that comes in. Now I'm going to do two uh, different color schemes here. One is going to be blue and the other one is going to be red. Okay, so we'll start off with our blue color scheme here. I'm going to use a little bit of this golden teal as our first one. I put that down. thing is you want to put this down right in the middle. Now this teal, I used this teal the other day and it just completely took over my painting. So I'm not putting a ton of that teal in there. Now this is our Josanya Thalo Turquoise. Do that next. And then we're going to go from there, we're going to go to our color shifting chameleon pigment from eye candy. Go ahead and put that on there. Now these, these eye candy pigments, I just cannot express this enough that they are just amazing. All right, now we're going to go to the eye candy. Blue Orchid. Put that down. Maybe a wee bit more. It is just an absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing color. 
All right, now for our uh, selectivator today, boys and goyles, we're going to be using Prussian blue from Amsterdam, one part paint and two parts Australian Floetrol. This will be our little cell activator that hopefully wins the day, we will see. I tend to like this a little better than the black cell activator. Now a lot of people use the black. I kind of like the, the blue here. Now, all right, I'm gonna get my old Franco out here. Franco is George's cousin. Okay, looks like we got a beautiful little halo there. So let's see if we can make this look cool. All right, here we go. Now you want to start high, and then you come in right in the center of it, and then you move your wrist, not like, you don't want to go further down, so that way you don't get into the paint. Now this doesn't always work out for me, but this is the way it's supposed to work. Tell you what, man, you hippy nippy fans out there, you are my good luck charm. So I tried to do this yesterday and made just an absolute mess out of it. And I said, oh no, I've lost the touch as soon as I found it. And here I am doing this for you folks. And I have got just some beautiful, beautiful stuff coming out here. Wow. That, boys and girls, is what I was going for. Now I'm gonna go from up here and come down in it one more time. Get my little blow straw and I'm not gonna. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna use the blow straw. I'm gonna use the blow straw because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to ruin it. It's looking good. Start with this one over here. All right, we're gonna leave that be. Let that sit for a few minutes. See what comes out on there. That'll be a few minutes in my time. It will be a few seconds in your time. Hi, right, boys and girls. Through the magic of cinematography, we're back again. And we're going to go ahead and, and take this off of the little plate here. Well, no, I'm going to do the embellishments on the plate first. We're going to go ahead and start doing us some embellishments. We're going to start in here. Let y'all see what it looks like before I do it. Now I'm gonna set it down. We're gonna give her a little swirl and see what she does. Be at it. Mama's gonna pull that cup out from underneath it while I'm up there. That way. Look. I know, don't get dizzy. I'm terrible at this. And that's what you got. Now we're gonna set it down in here and try and get it in the middle and give her a spin. Bit of a whirl about and see what we get. I think that's super pretty. I'm not a blue guy, as you well know. You are the kind of shewer of the bluer. Not me. But we're gonna go ahead and give this a spin. I think it's really pretty, I'll give you that. minutes boys and girls boys and girls I'm gonna leave it just like that we're gonna, we're gonna clean the bottom up we're gonna set it to the side 
and we're gonna let it dry and maybe it will develop some more cells in the center maybe it won't if it doesn't I'm okay with that I absolutely adore these little mermaid fins that came in from the outside area there or dragon fins or whatever you want to call them sea monster fins I love those so I'm okay if it doesn't develop cells but if it does develop cells you know we've got cells in it we just the center part is suspiciously absent of cells so maybe it'll develop as it dries I don't know but uh, Lift it up here, sit it on this thing, and wipe its butt. As Nathan says, we'll wipe his nasty old bum. I'm not in the center of the room. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's gorgeous around the edges. It is beautiful. I absolutely love it. We don't always get what we want, but if you try sometimes, you get what you need. In the words of the great Rolling Stones. You can't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need. Oh, baby. Get what you need. All right, we're gonna set this aside. Gonna do us a two for today. Do one more, and some beautiful colors of hot tones of red and a little tiny bit of yellow. See what we get there. Another one of these party tiles. Sit that right in the middle of it. And I think that is the middle. This time, we're gonna start off with my Bordeaux Red. It's beautiful blood red. We love the blood red. And that took over too last time. It did, but it was beautiful, so do I care? Uh, uh, not particularly. Too much red. Blood turtle. You don't like blood turtles? <laughs> Alright, now we are going to go to Golden Copper is what this is. Which is an absolutely gorgeous color next to this Bordeaux Red. So we're gonna put a bunch of that on there. Alright, we're gonna put a little bit of this. The way I made this gold is, I took this stuff called Unicorn sh sh uh, Spit. That's a tongue twister, isn't it, boys and girls? <laughs> the stuff called uni Unicorn Spit, which is supposed to be like a, a shiny thing for embellishments. I took that and I mixed it up with a little bit of uh, Flow Troll Mix. And uh, I got this yellow color, and Kat said, you can't do that like that. That's not meant to be used that way. And I said, yeah, you know, I'm not much of a rule follower, kind of never have been. So uh, we will have to just go with what we do and see if it works. Because uh, I was born a rebel, and I'll die a rebel. So we're going to see what this does. It might work. Come on, horrible, horribly, horrible, horrible. What or it may be truly chicken? gorgeous. What is that? That looks like a chicken in the middle of it, doesn't it? Anyway. Alright, let's put last but not least. You are so retarded. What is this? Is this called this is called Yama, uh, Yamagata Red, right? Yamagata, yes. Yes, this is Yamagata Red. Again for my candy. And we're gonna put this on top of that. Yet another different color of red, which is probably gonna make this whole darn thing come out to one crazy shade of red. But we will see. Now, I'm gonna do a little different on this one. I'm gonna use the white. See, Amsterdam white. This is Amsterdam white and 
Australian flow trawl one part paint two parts flow trawl okay and I put a whole lot less on there this time because my wife said I should and I'm going to try and start high and I will come in makes it move. I will creep to the side. That currently has a lot of cells in it. We'll see what happens. All right, let's let that sit for a minute and see what happens. It's certainly not selling out like I thought. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a little sweepy swipes here and see what we get. Since that didn't bloom up much, Try something different here. Drop that over like this. Pull it back this way. You know that I still got that on there, so I'm gonna do that right here. The first one looks good, the second one. Dipped a little bit, yes. Now I'm going to leave it to work. Leave it to work its thing, see what it comes out with. Alright y'all, we're going to give her a little burn. And then, we're going to spin it a little bit. Well, then I'm going to embellish. And then we're going to spin it a little bit. Alright, let's see what we get here. I got just gorgeous. I don't know about y'all, but I really like that. I'm gonna do a little spinny McGinney right here. Let's start right here and go. All right, dig it out, baby. We're gonna set her down and spin her. That's pretty, ain't it? That's got like a or like an antique rose thing going on for it, I think, don't you? There's another thing that's good about having this stuff in a squirt bottle is that you can get the edges exactly where you need to to get them to run again. I do like, like, where you see just the red coming out. 
I think it's got a very antique look to it. That's I, really, cool. I really dig that, that antique look. So I went around the edge so we put just little tiny drops in places where we wanted it to move some more. enjoyed our little express train today. We try to do things that will make you happy and make us happy at the same time. If you like what you've seen so far, please do go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, if you're not subscribed, we sure would like to have you as part of the Hippie Dippy family, so you would hit the subscribe button. Now, if you subscribe, if you are not able to chat in the live chat today, that is because you're not subscribed. You have to be subscribed to each artist in order to be able to chat in their live chat. And, you know, it's really cool to be able to say, oh, well, what about that? Oh, that's cool, you know, or, or to comment back and forth with people, you know. Uh, so do go ahead and subscribe if you can. Um, also, uh, hit that little bell, because when you hit the bell, you will get notified every time me or Miss Cat gets on here to do some more silliness. And then you'll get to watch us in all our glory or disgrace as it may be. <laughs> so, uh, you know, hit that thing. And one more thing, you know, if you dig it, guess what? Your friends will dig it too. So, man, if you're digging what you're seeing, if you're smelling what I'm throwing down, then please do tell your friends. Share. Sharing is caring. All right, I'm going to lift this up and let you see it right quick. Then we're going to give it to Miss Cat, and she's going to put it on a little cup over there to dry. I will try and get a dry picture of this for you. Um, probably won't have a dry picture for you for today. You'll have to come back in the following days to see the dry picture as my thumbnail. So let's lift this up right quick. Let me see it. Let me see, I'll put this way on. I can never get that right. See how far my long arms will bring it up. I really think that pretty boys and girls, I don't know if you do or not, but I do. I think it has a lovely, classy, antique rose look to it. Something like this would be a beautiful, beautiful like a box or a trinket box. Or something. Yeah, to make a top for a trinket box. So that's just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's really, all right. really, really pretty looking at it head on. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. And uh, as is my tradition, until I see you again, same blah, 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 time, same blah, 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 channel. Peace out, babies.